All right, 643, construction and more congestion on the way for one of the busiest intersections in the heart of the northwest side of the metro. Penn and Memorial. Nice. News 9's Caleb Califano live at the intersection with what drivers need to know under this big new project. Caleb, good morning. Hey, good morning, Robin and Lacey. Well, at least for today, construction crews will start bringing different signs and equipment here to install a protective or Texas turnaround here on the eastbound lanes near Memorial. Now, at least until June, the left lanes of westbound and eastbound Memorial will be closed periodically, as well as the right lane on northbound Penn. They hope to have no possible lane closures, though, until tomorrow. That area is really difficult because it's busy all the time, and I think most drivers are aware of how busy that intersection is. Contractors are going to work as best they can to not impact uh, the morning and the evening rush hours. Now, when the project is complete, it will be identical to what's already on the western side of Penn, a protective road that goes underneath the Kilpatrick Turnpike Bridge. It'll make it so people exiting the turnpike or trying to make a left turn on Memorial will be able to bypass the traffic signal. Crews are hoping to avoid lane closures during the morning and evening commutes, and this project is expected to be completed in around four months. Now, it's important to note while portions of Penn and Memorial will be closed during this time, the on-ramp and, on and off-ramp of the Kilpatrick Patrick Turnpike will remain open and ODOT is saying to avoid this area entirely. But if you can't, for more on alternate routes, we're going to send it over to Hannah Scholl. Yes, thank you, Caleb. We are expecting this this intersection to be very congested, more than it usually is because of the traffic. So if you want to get around it, you can use May um, on the eastern side or western on the what or sorry, I got that mixed up. Western on the eastern side, May on the western side, and 150th to the north and Kilpatrick to the south. Um, but again, just avoid the area if possible. I know that's not always possible, so just expect delays headed through there. I'll have more updates back here in a little bit.